y'all and welcome to today's video. We are going to do a haul today. I have been shopping. My credit card is weeping. It has been working. I have been putting that thing to work. I've made <laughs> so many online orders. I've done some in-person shopping. I was out of town on a little family vacation, went to LA, made online orders. And what I want to do is just share with y'all what I bought, a few things that I got sent to me. I, I buy a ton of makeup, always. I love makeup. My collection, massive. I am not a minimalist. Hi, my name is Heather, if you're new here. And I am a more is more type of person. I have so much makeup, like hundreds of palettes, and like the limit for makeup for me does not exist. I have been shopping. I just wanna share with y'all what I bought while I was out of town. Some of these things I placed orders for before I left and we're just gonna do a haul today. I wanna show you, I wanna maybe swatch some stuff, tell you why I bought it. Maybe some things I can't explain. I just wanted it, you know, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a Friday haul. I'm gonna be busy all weekend but we we had to sit down and talk about the things i bought let's jump into it let's start with what i bought at sephora because this may surprise you it may surprise you i'm a color lover i'm a palette lover but i had to buy the new makeup by mario palette this is the master mattes the neutrals palette so makeup by mario does this super simple, sleek packaging. I guess it's makeup artist-esque. And he launched this very neutral palette. Very simple, very neutral. Now, I love makeup in all forms. Colorful, neutral, I love it all. But 90% of the time, I tend to reach for something very sparkly, very colorful. But Makeup by Mario gets so much hype. And his first matte palette was so like universally loved. It seemed that it had me curious. So when this palette was announced, ooh, look, we, wait a minute, wait a minute. We get to take the sticker off. <sighs> Is that not so satisfying? Oh, it's just like, mm, I love it. Anyway, his, his palette was so loved that when this palette was like sneak peeks by Mario. I'm like, whatever it is, I have to buy it. And this is very neutral, but we have light to dark shades, which really, really appeal to me. And I just wanna know, what do I think of the formula? Because like I said, I have hundreds and hundreds of eyeshadow palettes. I know what is a good eyeshadow. I know it's pigmented and I wanna be helpful to y'all. So I bought that from Sephora and then, you know, I bought the, the first, the master mattes too, because what if the formulas are different? I have to test them both. I have to know. Curiosity may have killed the cat, but curiosity took my money in this situation because I'm like, how can I test the new matte palette and tell y'all if it's good, but what if you wanna know, is the warmer version good too? Like, is it the same formula as the first? I am here because I love makeup. I test a lot of makeup, I try a lot of makeup. Even before I made YouTube videos, I was buying a ton of makeup, testing a ton of makeup, and I am here to share my knowledge with y'all to help you if you were thinking about these palettes. So I wanna be as helpful as possible to you, and I felt like I really needed to try the first palette from Mario to know if the second matte palette is just as good. So I bought both of these. Yes, I did. Master Matte's palette, the newer one, yeah, is like glossy finish, whereas the neutrals one, the newer one, is a matte finish. So we already have a difference in the packaging. I actually think those matte palettes will be really pretty with something like this. This shadow I ordered from Too Faced. This is my first time wearing it. It came in, now I'm not looking as glam as I normally do because my flight got in at one o'clock this morning. Well, it got in after midnight. I'm at home around one o'clock this morning. So I'm a bit tired, but my orders were here and I was too excited. I had to share it with y'all. But this is a Too Faced Disco Crush Heart Eyes shadow. I just have this all over the lid. I'm thinking something like this, a single shadow an Urban Decay Moon Dust, one of my indie shadows, something like that with the mattes from Mario is going to be 
perfect. I also ordered the new Orbe Gold Lust Dry Heat Protection Spray. I love Orbe and my hair is naturally wavy, wavy with some curls and I do heat style my hair. So I'm always using a heat protectant of some sort and Orbe is one of my favorite brands. They are so pricey but I continue to buy from them because they're so good. They're just so good. So this was new at Sephora and it's a dry heat spray. So usually before I blow dry my hair or anything like that, I will put in some type of like leave in with a heat protectant. But then once my hair is blow dried, before I go in with a curling iron or a waver or anything like that, I like to put in a heat spray again. So that's what I'm planning to do with this one. We'll definitely have to test and try this, but Orbe has the best scents in their product. Like, they look luxe, right? Speaking of hair, I bought the K18 Leave-In Repair Mask. This is not new. All of this new stuff you'll eventually see in like a review video in the future where I've tested it, tried it, I have my full thoughts, I'm ready to review it. This is a repurchase. This I have been buying for so long. I've emptied these so much and this one is another pricey one. This, this, look, you see this. This box is small, right? Oh, it's got tape on it, of course. It's a small bottle, but it's $75, but it's like a bond repair. To me, it is better than anything else I have ever tried, which is why I continue to buy it. It's better than anything. It's not like a, it's not like just a conditioner or something. It is a repair mask. You can use it in place of conditioner. You can use it before conditioner. K18, it has, helped my hair more than any product ever, so I continue to buy it. It hurts, I'm not gonna lie, it hurts to spend the 75 every time, but it's worth it for what it does to my hair. I bought so much from Sephora, y'all, I can't help it. I just love makeup, and I've been wanting to try this Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Contour Duo for years. It's been on my Sephora loves list, and I forget what it was, I saw somebody on Instagram or something. I think it was maybe the lipstick lesbians. They were talking about the quality of this Tom Ford product and how it was really good for oily skin. I have oily skin. I'm 36. I'm living in the South where it's humid all the time. So if you tell me this is good for oily skin, I'm like, cool, sign me up, take my money. Like, what do you need from me? Direct deposit. I don't know. I will buy it. This looked so beautiful and I'm like, you know, I've wanted this for a long time. I've had it on my list. Let me just buy it. So we're definitely gonna have to do like a testing new makeup together where I try on a bunch of things because doesn't that look just really pretty? Also, I just noticed it comes with a little pouch. What in the world would I need this little like, it's not suede, but it kind of feels like suede <laughs> pouch. This is the most, this, that is the most extra. A bag for my bronzer and illuminator. That is, that, that's too extra, but I kind of love it. I bought the new Ilia Skin Rewind Complexion Stick. I was so curious about this. Ilia put out this new complexion stick. It says you can use it to conceal or for foundation. It says buildable coverage, natural matte finish. Soften the look of fine lines. Say less, say less, Ilya. So I got the shade 26-0. I believe this was like a medium tan olive undertone. So did I get a good shade? Oh, I think so. Let me blend that, ah, yay. I'm so happy when I like pick out a good shade online. We've gotta try this, right? It's supposed to wear a long time and make your skin look blurry. It's got that cute Ilia packaging. And ever since I fell in love with the Ilia face milk for my oily skin, I've been thinking about more Ilia products. So when I saw that they were launching the new foundation stick, added to cart immediately. We talked about the Bosma blushes a while ago and y'all were really interested in these just like I was. So this is the Bosma the cream blush. And you know what, it's got a little sticker on it, but look at this packaging. It matches their foundation stick packaging. The foundation stick was not great for me and my oily skin. It didn't wear the best, 
but I do love this pink metal packaging. So let me open this up and show you the color. So it slides open like this. Did I just dig my fingernail into that? Yeah, love that for me. <laughs> love that for me, but this is a red blush. Let's go ahead and swatch it since I have it on my finger. Uh, my fingernail kind of went into it when I opened it, but I love a red blush. It can be so pretty. I know it can be very intimidating, but a little bit can go a long way with red. Here, let's see how it looks over a powder actually because a red blush could give you this beautiful, I've been in the sun all day and I'm a little bit sunburnt and just gorgeous flush to the cheek, but then you don't have any skin damage from actually getting a sunburn, you know? Like look how cute that looks tapped over. I actually have on just a tiny bit of my REM blush underneath and this is a cream blush it's not breaking up my foundation or anything so we're definitely gonna have to try this try this together but I thought you know what I've got this watch so let me show you this red blush oh I'm really excited now and when I do a red blush like this I do like to carry a little bit on my nose you don't have to but I think it just adds to that whole sun-kissed type of look which is what I'm going for when I grab a red. I bought a Sephora eyeliner. I know I know I bought so much stuff. This was on sale it was like five bucks or something and I threw it into my cart because I can't resist a neon green. Let's test this right here. You can see like how light that is right? That's gorgeous. I'm hoping this is going to stay well in my waterline, but I don't have this color from Sephora, so we needed to try it. I have a color like this from House Labs, and I'm hoping this would be a good alternative, but since it was on clearance, I'm a little worried that it's not going to stick around. So I'll let you know ASAP if it's good. I also bought this lipstick. This is the Sephora Collection 77 lipstick. Is this not a gorgeous orange brown color. I actually messaged my friend Aniela Kanikvist and Karen Harris and we're like this is such a y'all color and they were both like yeah we already have that color. We know that's a us color <laughs> and I'm like oh I'm pretty sure they told me about this and I forgot and stumbled upon it and it called to me. Look how pretty that is. I think with a brown lip liner this is gonna be stunningly gorgeous especially for like the summer nights. I also bought this Ellis Brooklyn Sun Fruit Fragrance. I had never smelled this in person, but again, I'm in the summer vibes feeling. I am ready for summer. I'm living in the South. We're ready for summer here. <laughs> this is Sun Fruit. And if I'm curious about a fragrance and they have it in a travel size, I'm going to grab the travel size because that way I can test it and I can always buy the full size later, right? So this is so beautiful. It's that vanilla coconut fig. I think there's jasmine here. I love this neon packaging. I think it's so pretty and I really like this scent. I really am excited to wear it. When I smelled it, I was like, good choice. I could see myself falling in love with this. I bought another beauty blender. Yes, I have lots of inexpensive sponges that I like too, but I do love a beauty blender. And this, I think this green one was on sale and I'm, I know, I know so many of y'all are screaming at me like, Heather, why are you buying the name brand Beauty Blender? Because I love it, okay? I know, I do feel like there is something special about a Beauty Blender, the brand. Do you have to spend $20, $15, whatever, even on sale that this is? Can you buy a $5, a $1 sponge? Yes, you can, but I do love this. So I bought another. I bought three Sephora Collection glosses. I couldn't help myself. These shades, like do you see these shades? They look so cute and the packaging is so cute. So I bought, I bought all three. They're kind of all in the same color family, right? Right, I think so. These are in the shade one. That's the lightest one, the shade one. And then I bought the shade five, Pump It Up Red. This is not a red. 
why do they call this a red? <laughs> and I also bought the shade 7 Pink Pout. Those are cute, right? 1, 5, and 7. I, had, I, I saw them and I'm like, come home to me. I bought another Patrick Ta Brow Lumination. I have brows that need to stay in place. I have a lot of brow gels that I really like. I only like super strong hold brow gels. My brows are unruly. I fill them in and I need them to stay where I put them. So the Patrick Ta does it. This is probably my number one favorite. I have lots that I like, but this is probably like, if I could only keep one ever, it would be this one. So that's a repurchase. And then I bought this weird refi mascara that we're gonna have to try together because let's look at this wand. This wand is wild, but I'm thinking it could be cool. So we'll definitely have to test this together. There's nothing on one side and little bristles on this side. We, we've got to try that together, right? Maybe we can try the Mario, the Bosma, the new foundation. Like we could try all of that together. Let me know if you'd be into that. That's all the things that I bought from Sephora. I do want to show you that Milk sent me their new lip oils. I am so pumped about this. They sent me their new lip oils and they also sent me their Kush mascara. I really do like this mascara from Milk. I've had this mascara before. I've purchased it. It has the big fat wand that I like and it does good at volume and lengthening so I'm really excited to have another one but let me tell you about these lip oils these showed up to me right before I went out of town and milk is a brand I'm always interested in I don't love everything they put out but whenever they have a drop I'm curious because they have made some of my favorite products like the hydro grip primer a favorite. I do believe it's different from other primers like it because of the aloe and hemp that my skin really enjoy in that primer. And their lip oil glosses that they put out last year became a favorite for me. So I was so happy when they sent me their lip oils because I actually had these on my Sephora loves list. I was going to buy these had they not sent these to me. And I'll show you a little reel that I made because I took this with me to Universal Studios LA. I took it to Mario World with me and tried to make like a funny-ish cute little reel. But I get like, I get to where I need a lipstick, a lip gloss, a chapstick, something to hydrate my lips when I'm out and about in the day. Probably like most of y'all, my lips will get dry. And the air in LA is much drier than what I'm used to. So I always, if I'm gonna be out for the day, I'm packing a chapstick, a lip gloss, something. And I decided to try the lip oil and it kept my lips hydrated all day. All day, I of course reapplied like after lunch, after snack, in the evening, you know, like I normally do. And these are beautiful. They all are sheer like very clear with just a hint of color. I dropped the, I dropped one of them on the ground and they all have a flavor to them like guava, chocolate, mint. And if you see a color that you like, just know that these are very clear. They're gonna have a slight tint to them, which I think is great in a lip oil. They don't feel goopy. They just feel very hydrating and they do give your lips a very lip oil look, a very glossy, a very shiny, really beautiful, really, really comfortable formula. I'm so glad Milk sent these to me. Again, had they not, I would have purchased them. I was looking at this like bright pink one. The shade is Dream Machine. I was looking at Orange Crush and I'm really happy to have those. I could see those becoming a favorite for me. I just... Mm really beautiful, beautiful formula. YSL sent me a couple of their lipsticks. I am shocked <laughs> that YSL sent these to me. And I wanted to show you because I have purchased this formula before and I really love it. You've probably seen it here on my channel before, but the shade 13, let's look. I haven't even opened this yet. I have one I know in the like limited edition holiday packaging that I really like, but this is 13. This looks so pretty. We've definitely got to try this together here. Why not do a little swatch here? So these are very glossy, tinted like lip sticks. Very, sh uh, uh, not sheer because I feel the milk lip oils are sheer. These I would just say are more tinted, 
you can see not crazy opaque but very comfortable on the lips just a little bit of lip liner in these they just look so gorgeous and glossy let's look now at shade number 15. so here is 15 a little more like brown and muted in tone but both glossy and gorgeous i'm so happy to have more shades in my collection because this formula is really beautiful now ysl is a luxury brand and you are going to get luxury packaging with these they like the component is heavy you can tell this is like a custom component it's not it's not feeling inexpensive it is feeling luxury so if you like luxury packaging you'll really like those now i know that they are coming out with a oil lipstick like that in that packaging i cannot wait i'm not sure when they're launching but they are on my wish list i believe they're launching around the middle of the month and i'll definitely be trying those like those are going to be an add to cart instantly lawless sent me some of their new lip products y'all if you've been here for a little while or a long while you know i love lawless one one of the brands i've actually used an entire lip gloss from and had to repurchase i love their stuff i've purchased their powders like lawless makes some good products they sent me maple sugar and nudie in their plumbing gloss. They also sent me lavender sorbet. I believe I already have this one. I'm pretty sure this is their purple gloss and I love this color. I just used this color recently in a get ready with me, I think. So I'm actually gonna set this aside because I know somebody who would really like that. But I'm so happy to have new shades of this because these are my type of colors. These look so pretty. And I just, I love Lawless lip products. I can never, ever have enough. And then they sent me three of the balms, a favorite formula, a favorite formula. My friend Kelly actually took this with her to New Orleans because it's that good. It's like a tinted balm lipstick, exactly like it says. It makes your lips feel hydrated, but gives you a wash of color in just a beautiful way. So this is Whisper, Amaretto, and Cupid. Really, really beautiful. And I wouldn't even say they plump. They just, they look like they plump your lips because they smooth everything out in a really beautiful way. Nothing settles into lines weird. You know, one of the worst products I've tried in 2023 was the makeup like makeup by mario he had these lip glossy lipsticks and they were in a tube i'll pop up a picture so you know what i'm talking about but they settled into lines so weird they emphasized all the lip texture just everything weird they wore away weird these from lawless just glide on and they just smooth everything out and that's what makes your lips look healthy and juicy like I enjoy. I made an order from ColourPop. I had to. <laughs> I had to. Let me show you what I bought. I told y'all at the start of this video, do not judge me because I bought a lot of products and I know it's excessive, but there's just been so much stuff launching lately that I want slash need. I bought a few things from the Twilight collection. That's what inspired my ColourPop order. I bought the lip oils. So first of all, I love the packaging. I do keep packaging when it's like this. I was, you know, when I saw the ColourPop Twilight, I was a little disappointed. And it's still not my perfect Twilight palette, but it is more based off the movies rather than the books. And I can get down with that. I loved the books at the time. And when the movies came out, I enjoyed them, but I'm definitely more of the book lover. And... I thought, you know, let me pass on this Twilight collection. And I was kind of thankful I did decide to pass because it sold out so fast. But the more I thought about it, I was like, I kind of wish I had gotten that. So when they had the restock, I did buy the palette. I do wish that we didn't have this photo of Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart on the inside. I just, I don't love a scene from a movie printed on the palette. But since the collection is themed around the movie Twilight, I do get it. Like, I understand. But this color story, the more I looked at it, the more I was like, you know, I would actually really like to try this. So let me know. I know that this palette 
came in stock, sold out. They said they're gonna do more restocks. So let me know, do you want me to use this here on my channel? test it out, swatch it, all of that. I think the textures in here look really pretty. And the, like I said, the more I saw it, the more I was curious about it. The more I kind of wanted to trust, test it, try it out, see for myself it was, if it was a great palette or not. And I do like ColourPop. I think they make really beautiful shadows. I tried to get both of the highlighters, but I was only able to get one. One of them sold out of my cart. I was able to get Meadow. So I will try again when they restock and get the other highlighter. I forget what it's called. Skin, skin of a killer maybe or something. I don't know, but I love ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. This was the thing that I do feel like ColourPop could have done better. Why they didn't put this in their cardboard packaging and put beautiful artwork on, I don't know. I feel like this is very basic. Very basic just to have Twilight on their typical packaging. It should have been in their cardboard component. I've seen them put their Super Shocks in the cardboard components before. They should have done that. That is my critique. I stand by that critique and criticism. But I love Super Shock formulas and I wanted to buy that, so I bought it. So even though I can criticize it, ColourPop still got my money, you know? I also, <laughs> ColourPop's like, yeah, Heather, you still bought it and what? I bought a ColourPop blush. This is their cream blush and I heard that these were easier to open. That was easier to open than their previous heart packaging. They definitely upgraded that because I had a powder blush in this heart packaging and I decluttered it because it was that difficult to open. But I wanted to try the cream formula and I heard that this was an amazing formula from ColourPop. So I bought the shade Adore You Lip and Cheek Balm. Maybe we can do like a testing ColourPop full face, something like that, because I bought all of that from ColourPop, but now I'm gonna show you, you, they sent me a few things. So let me grab what they sent me, and you can let me know, do you wanna see a full face of ColourPop? ColourPop sent me their concealer, and they sent me their Pretty Fresh foundation, they sent me their Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tint and Moisturizer, and they sent me their Pretty Fresh Face Powder. Now, if you've been here, you know that my struggle with ColourPop complexion products is that they just don't have the right undertone for me. I've tried lots of different shades and I have felt like I've been able to make them work, but they've never become something that I reach for ever because I have an olive undertone. I'm saturated, I'm warm leaning, and every time I try something complexion like foundation or concealer from ColourPop, I feel that it's either too yellowy orange or it's too pinky peach and it just, it never works right for me and I can't just buy all the shades and keep testing. So when they reached out to me and asked me if they could send me more, I picked shades that I hadn't tried yet and I thought maybe we could try them together because I'm like, I've bought these products, I've tried these products, they are asking can they send me more let me let me use this as a time to try more shades because i do feel like it's hard to really get a grip on a formula when the shade is so off let me know if you feel that way like you try foundation and you're like you know it just i really can't tell if i like it or not because the shade is off so i'm looking forward to testing these again i did select a face powder shade that i thought would be good for maybe like under my eye and in the swatches, this shade right here, Light 7, did look like it might be a little green, which is perfect for me for Olive. So let me know. Do you want to test that? We can try that with the ColourPop that I bought. We'll see if maybe I can find a shade that works for me. Maybe I can give you my thoughts a little bit better. Y'all, I forgot my Savora haul. I bought the Glow Recipe Nice and Mad Dew Drops Tinted. I love the Dew Drops. I forgot. I forgot to show all these. This is part of my Sephora haul section. I have purchased the Dew Drops so many times. When they came out with Tinted, I'm like, let me cop those. Let me add those to cart. And I actually got some for my sister-in-law too because she loves these. So I bought her some. It was her birthday. It was part of her birthday gift. But do you see the bronziness? The Drunk Elephant D Bronzy Drops got so popular. I'm not see so many. I'm not surprised to see so many brands like copying that but glow recipe is a brand favorite of mine and i have the d bronzy drops and the glow recipe i've used a couple of times now and they're better 
they're better because they're that dew drop formula I love with the bronze in them. It, it's just, it's a tiny kind of color. You're not going to come out looking like you've been at the beach for a week. It's just going to give you a tint of color, a little bit of health. And YSL with the lipsticks sent me their mascara. And I forgot to show y'all that as well. When we were talking about YSL, I'm telling y'all, no sleep, post vacation. I'm a little scattered right now, but we'll get it together tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be more here. <laughs> they sent me their waterproof mascara, their volume mascara. So we'll definitely be trying this. Let's talk about my purchase from Killian. One of my favorite brands, probably if I could only pick one perfume brand, Killian, they have it. I want to show you what I bought. I went to the Killian pop-up in LA. I went to the Grove. They have a pop-up shop. And I, that's why I have like this beautiful, beautiful bag, this beautiful presentation. And I want to show you the fragrance I got, but then I want to tell you the story. But I bought Killian Bamboo Harmony Perfume. I'm going to open this up so I can show you the luxurious bottle and kind of tell you the process of buying this. Killian is expensive and going to the pop-up, they gave me so many samples. Even Killian samples are expensive. Like you're usually not getting these if you're buying so much at Sephora and you get to pick out a fragrance sample. That's not Killian. Like they don't give out samples all willy nilly. So let me open this and tell you like about my decision to purchase because this perfume is like $300. I know it's pricey, but I want to talk about it. I believe it was January of last year that me and my friend Angie were in the Grove. We saw the Killian pop up. We went in. And the, the people there, the sales reps, the brand reps, I don't know exactly what their title is, but they were so kind. They were letting us smell all of these scents. Isn't that beautiful? Like, oh. they were asking us what we liked and like recommending things. And for me, I don't make purchases like $300 fragrance just on a drop like that. That's me and my life, the way things are set up. I just don't, <laughs> I don't drop money that way. So the brand wrap let me smell the scent and immediately I smelled and tears started in my eyes, not because it smelled bad, because I was instantly teleported to country, small town, Arkansas, where my great grandparents are from. And I was a kid again in their yard and all those memories just came flooding back. All these positive memories, even talking about it now, I'm like, oh, it just brings back such happy childhood memories. And it was such a clear memory, such a clear thought, a clear, like this feeling of love and happiness and sunshine. And I took my, like she put it on a card for me and we left and I was thinking like, oh, I really want to buy that. But I'm like, you know, I just, I don't impulse buy things like that. So it, it's, it's now March of 2024. This was March of 2023. I mean, this was January of 2023. So over a year and I could not remember the name of the fragrance. It wasn't written on the card for me. And I wish I would have gotten her to write on the card. And I kept thinking like, I can't just buy this $300 fragrance. What if I get it and I ordered the wrong one, you know? So I went into Killian to the pop-up and I was smelling things and I told the, the sales associates, I said, what is your most green scent? I said, I was in here last year and I smelled this and this is how it felt. And she said, oh, I think you're talking about Bamboo Harmony here. And she sprayed it and the same emotions came back and I was telling her, I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. I'm so happy. I've been wanting this for a year. Like. I need to buy this. And she told me, she was like, you're going to make me cry. Like, wow, I love this. So we got to talking and it was just really cool. Every single person like working in the pop-up was so kind. And one of the people there was from like my neck of the woods where I live. And so we got to talking and it was just really cool. So that's a long story made even longer, I think. But I just, you know, this is such an expensive fragrance. The only other fragrance I have full size from Killian because I buy a lot of his travel size, which are like $50. <laughs> I buy those, but I have Black Phantom. That's like Memento Mori is kind of like what I would say my signature scent, my most favorite. So I thought about this for over a year and I have no regrets. Very expensive, very pricey, but 
The Way scent, and this scent specifically is tied to memory and tied to that specific memory, but it's like a more grown up version. It made me think of that, but it just, it wore beautifully on me and I feel like I'm just gonna enjoy every time I wear this. If you like green scents, and I'm talking about not floral, but like grass, like being outside and you feel sunshine and you feel grass, Bamboo Harmony is so amazing. <laughs> like, let me pop the notes on the screen for you and what Killian says because I, I, I know how it makes me feel, but I want to share the notes with y'all. I also made an order from Ulta. <laughs> I, know. I know it doesn't stop y'all. I've been on a roll. I can't help it. But Ulta changed their 21 days of beauty and now it's like an Ulta sale. And I picked up a couple of things. Let me show you. I bought two more of the cloud crush blushes from Ulta. They put these half off for the sale and I have the pink one candy clouds and I love that formula. It's like a blurring formula. So I bought two shades while they were half off. Ulta did like an early preview day to where if you were diamond you could shop early and I grabbed these then. I had to buy the shade Head in the Clouds. I thought this was such a pretty pinky mauve type of blush like rose color and then I also bought this shade this is the shade tequila sunset I thought this was a beautiful peachy like muted peachy shade I don't know I had to buy it I really like that formula and I've wanted to buy more colors but I just haven't yet so that's what I bought from the sale section and then I bought some more things at Ulta. I bought two more uh, magic, half magic lip glosses. I told y'all in one of my get ready with me's recently that I was gonna buy a couple of these and to no one's surprise, I did. I bought a couple. <laughs> these are the brand new shades. This is the shade Problem Child right here and the shade Y2K Cherub. So this is like black with a rainbow gloss and this is like a baby pink with a silvery gold gloss. I wanted um, <laughs> I'm dropping stuff. I've been talking too long and I'm way too tired, but I wanted those so I bought them. From Ulta, I also bought the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Intensive Wash Off Jelly Mask. I'm excited to try this. My skin really likes snail mucin. I'm wearing the Cosrx niacinamide snail mucin today. It's really, really cool, but I've never tried anything from Peach and Lily's sister brand, Peach Slices. So I did purchase this. I bought the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Light Surface Hydration Beta Glucin Face Hydrator. It's supposed to be a really great moisturizer for your oily skin. The Ordinary makes really nice skincare products. I don't love everything they do. I feel like a lot of people really hype up The Ordinary, but there are some things that they do really well, and I saw a lot of great reviews for this, so I did wanna test it. It is a moisturizer for oily skin. It's supposed to be very thin, very like, absorbent maybe is the word and it's not supposed to sit heavy on top of oily skin so i picked that up i repurchased my ola henriksen strength trainer moisturizer this was in my 2023 yearly favorites this is a thicker moisturizer very hydrating i use tetranoin so even though i have oily skin tetranoin will give me some dry patches if i don't moisturize i have been on tetranoin for a year and a half now it's what i credit to making my skin so much better but if i don't moisturize i will get dry patches and i love this i can use it every night i don't have to use it every night i can use something thinner some nights but this is thick enough that it really hydrates my skin i can use it as an eye cream if i want but at night that's when i like to use this on the whole i use this either every night or every other night and it makes sure that i don't get those dry skelly patches from tetranoin and i feel like it just it really plumps my skin. I, I'm not gonna go on and on about it because again, it wasn't my yearly favorites. I talked about it there, but it has like ingredients to strengthen the skin barrier, which I really love. Peptides, amino acids, ceramides, fatty acids, all the good things. 
I bought this from Ulta, the Curl Smith Frizz Rescue Finishing Serum to Smooth and Define Shine with Almond Oil, Olive Oil, Argan Oil, and Squalene. This is supposed to be to like smooth out and keep your hair anti-frizzy, which is what I need. It says, use it on dry hair, a little goes a long way. Rub between your palms and smooth down to hydrate and kind of like rejuvenate hair keep those flyaways away and i'm excited to try it i really like curl smith products so i think that one's going to be a winner for me that's all i bought at ulta i bought the new love baton foundation judge me it's 70 dollars. so many people have made videos on this and i'm going to try it too okay it's a 70 dollar foundation it's a little ridiculous but I want to try it. <laughs> I want to try it. This is the shade. What shade do I have? 40 WO. So it's supposed to be a warm olive. I have not tried this, but we talked about this in a new makeup video and I've been lusting after it ever since. I really have. I think the bottle's beautiful. Should we try this together? Let me know. Do you want to see it? $70 Christian Louboutin foundation. If you want me to try it on camera with y'all, I can do that. But I was just so curious. Again, the makeup lover in me wanted to know, is this $70 worth of goodness? Hard Candy is collabing with Girl Scout Cookies. They emailed me and asked me if they could send me this. And I was like, um, yes, I will try that. This is a headband, like a skincare headband, I guess, that you put on when you wash your face. Okay, this was an interesting collab. The Hard Candy Lip Repair Oil Sweet Hydration. I tried Hard Candy Lip Oils. I did not like them at all. So I, di I didn't like the flavor, but this says it is a like Girl Scout cookie inspired flavor. So I'm gonna try this again and see because the last lip oils I felt like like all tasted like cough medicine, no matter the color. So I really couldn't even get a feel for the formula <laughs> as much. So we'll try this again. We'll, we'll see if the flavor is better. There is a Girl Scout cookie, cookie icing highlighter. Got to try this. We've got to see how this is. There is a Girl Scout cookie glaze lip color. I do want to try this formula because I like some of hard candies lipsticks and lip liners so i'm looking forward to trying that i have some press on nails i'm gonna put to give away because i don't use press on nails we have a another lip color in thin mints so a deeper darker brown and then a luminous highlighter in a different shade okay so maybe i should show you these both together swatched because i have a coconut shade and that tre truffles trefles shade i don't really eat girl scout cookies so i'm sorry if i don't know the names but this is a really interesting collab i think that's super fun merit beauty sent me two of their lipsticks they sent me the shade classic and the shade power I don't think I've tried anything from Merit Beauty before, but they emailed me and they were like, can we send you some lipsticks, you know, like no strings attached. I do want to let you know that when I say like a brand sent it to me, they sent it to me not like not me promising them I would show anything. Like, so when they asked me, could they send this to me no strings attached? I was like, yes, I really would like to try some products. I know a lot of creators really love Merit Beauty and I've never tried them. So that right there was the shade Power. That's pretty. That's a really beautiful shade. And I really like this component. Like that looks really beautiful. And then here I have the shade Classic. This lighter color. That is a very me looking color. So I am really looking forward to trying those on the lips. Are those a matte lip? Yeah, lightweight matte lipstick. So I'm looking forward to trying Merit and seeing what I think of these. That is my haul. That is a lot. I really wanna do these every Friday. I told y'all in like a life update video, if you have not seen that, please definitely watch it, that I'm gonna be super busy on the weekends. It's 
time for me to prioritize my family. Our schedule is changing and basically every Saturday, Sunday is going to be busy with either my kid and his athletic competitions or family birthdays. And I need to prioritize my time with my family, of course. So I want to do these like hauls with y'all, show y'all what I get, got, but I also want to do a wish list at the end. You're definitely going to want to stick around to the end of these Friday videos because we're going to talk about my wish list and first up is Adept Cosmetics Cyborg Choir. Oh, you know I need this. The selection of mattes looks stunning. There's multi-chromes, duochrome shimmers, hollow chromes. I need it. This is going to be launching on the 15th at 10 a.m. Central. I do have an affiliate code with Adept. If you want to get a discount, you can use code Heather to save. You definitely don't have to, but just FYI, I'll be using a discount code if Adept does not send this to me, I will purchase this myself because this color story, come to mama. I need it. It looks stunning, stunning, stunning. Adept Cosmetics, just a favorite. A favorite, smooth, smooth shadows. Beautiful. The mattes are easy to blend. They're pigmented. They're gorgeous. They're stunning. They are the moment. They are everything. We also have a new foundation coming from Urban Decay that I really want to try. This is Face Beyond Waterproof Liquid Foundation with Niacinamide. It says Serum Foundation Setting Powder, Buildable Medium Coverage, and 24 Hour Wear, Lightweight 40 Shades. I love a waterproof claim because that usually means humidity is not going to break it apart. I live in a humid place, so when I see waterproof, I know my oily skin is going to like that. I really like this packaging design from Urban Decay. I think it's cool. I think it's different. I want to try it, so I'll definitely be adding that to my list when I have more information. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this style of video. If you're new here, please do subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. This was an excessive haul, and I'm excited to try these products. Let me know. Do you want to see any of these in future videos? I would love to hear from you. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I will see you very soon in another one. Bye. Thank you.